I'm Amy Cassiano Martinez with Red Carpet Report, and we're in Hollywood for the premiere of Diary of the Future President on Disney Plus. How are you? I'm Michael. Hi. Amy, good to meet you. What's me happening? Too. I love it. I love it. I'm here too. It took me an hour in the car. I'm not psyched. Oh, I'm okay. okay. So tell me a little bit about this. So oh, what's happening? What's on your mind? Well, you know, um, we're here celebrating the release of Diary of the Future President that really, you know, talks about a young woman um, really going for it. She really does. Yeah. She, um, and they got a great test. It's just so fantastic. I don't know if you've seen it on the show yet. I've only seen one episode. But, um, you know, it's that awkward middle school thing. Uh, I know. There literally isn't a person you can talk to that doesn't have that reaction. I didn't feel... I don't even know if I came out of the awkward stuff until my 20s. Um, but these kids are so impressive. Charlie and, and Tess and, and a bunch of the other kids. They seem to be completely, like, through that stage and, and like, just in their personal lives, which is really impressive. They were great to work with for that reason. Uh, but, yeah, there's some, there's some struggles to show up on I think some of them are fun, and some of them are awkward, and some of them are cringy and um, and and tough. You know, there's really some tough things, and I I was just saying that I think that's one of the things that I I think the show does pretty well is it it does face up to some of those struggles pretty realistically and, and um, not just making jokes of it. You know, and, and making jokes of it to get us through, but but also just. Just the, the dire day is a middle school that seem like, um, you know, when the walls are, the walls are coming in. Uh, you know, some of that stuff is faced head on, and, and I really appreciated that about the writers. I thought they did a great job. Which is great to hear. Um, yeah. Tell us about your character. Uh, well, so I just play this guy that shows up and kind of moves uh, selling um, uh, Charlie and Tess's mom. And she's been on her own for a little while. She lost her husband some years back and has really not dated. Had a tough time kind of facing up to that. Uh, but now the kids are a little older. And, uh, you know, I, I come along with my dad jokes. And I, yes! I can laugh my dad jokes. Uh, but who can resist? Uh, so we, we start dating at first kind of secretly because Tess, her daughter, is a little bit uh, wound tight, let's say, or high strung. She likes to plan everything out. So throwing a new kind of change, big change into the lives, uh, their home life is kind of a, uh, a little bit of a wrench. So uh, the first couple of episodes are about her getting used to that. Charlie is side is so laid back and he's like, yeah, okay, whatever, chill. You know, I thought you were dating someone already or who knows what. But, uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm just sort of a fun-loving, goofy guy. You know, I have a good time with it. What do you hope people take out of it? I would just hope uh, people who aren't necessarily in the, the first blush demographic would give it a chance because I think it's got something for everyone. I really think it, my parents would enjoy the show. Uh, everyone can remember middle school for better or for worse. Um, I know your, your tongue comes out every time. Uh, but you know, there is there is a lot, and I don't think it, it's dependent on your, your color, your cream, your religion, anything of that sort. I think there's a lot in it for people who are just, you know, young or frankly my age and going through changes, you know. So if, if you can look at it and see a part of yourself up there, that would be my goal. And what I love you for the story. Not at all. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And let us know, did you ever want to be president as a kid? <laughs> <That's it. laughs> That's it, right? But it felt like I needed to say a little bit more. I'm Amy Cassandra with Red Carpool.